All right, we're here with um, Santana Moss, uh, Washington Redskins receiver. How you doing, Santana? I'm good, I'm good with you. I'm good, I'm good. So how's your offseason been? And what's good with you, man? How you been? I'm just chilling right now, you know what I mean? Got five weeks off, just got a mini camp and stuff. And uh, down here with the fellas, just kicking it, you know, laying back, trying to relax my mind and my body for a little while, you know, until things kick off. Okay. Now, obviously, the, the most exciting thing in Washington since since the last time y'all won the Super Bowl is, is, as you all know, RG3. And, um, you know, you've been to OTAs, you've heard about the hype. Yeah. You know, can you just give us, like, an assessment of what you've seen so far? Because everything we've been reading in the news has been really, really positive. What are your thoughts so far on RG3? On RG3? I mean, you know, uh, there's a lot of hype going on about, you know, who he is and, you know, who, who, he, who the guy is, gonna, you know, pretty much what he's going to bring to our team, you know. Uh, you know, who he was in college, is, you know, he, he did some tremendous things on the field, you know, both with his legs and his arms. And, uh, you know, in Washington, we've been waiting for that guy to really, you know, push us over that, you know, give us that that playoff work, you know, give us that championship. And I say, like, right now, you know, the city riding on you know, uh, the one thing that, you know, as being a player, what I would say, you know what I mean, you know, we as players got to, you know, be together with him for him to, bring us the success that we're looking for, you know what I mean? We can't just say, okay, that's our guy, you know, he's going to do everything. I think as a team, collectively, we got to go out there and help him be able to be that guy for us. Um, I feel like he's the guy, he's going to get it done, because I think his mental, the way he approached the game mentally, and just how he, he prepares himself, you can tell that he's not a guy that just want to you know, come in there and want to, uh, you know, be in and out, you know, he's a guy that want to really sit around there and know what we got going on as, as an offense and as a receiver, it's a receiver quarterback relationship and just really make sure that we're on the same tone. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. And, you know, I, you know, we got time right now and I know everybody probably anxious, but uh, I think that, you know, when it all time, you know, when it all said and done and everything pops off, you know, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Yeah, and you're speaking about his preparation and his knowledge. There's been word that he's, you know, he's already ahead in the offense and he has a mean fastball. I mean, one of the receivers, you know, tweeted a picture of his glove torn. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, has he been hurting your fingers? I mean, I mean, honestly, man, you know, he got a nice ball. You know what I mean? He can take a little off it here and there when he wants to. You know, he's one of those guys, he don't have that ball that you always say, damn, it always coming hard. He got a ball that it comes the way it needs to come when it's time. And um, if you got to squeeze it in there, he's going to throw it hard and fast. If you got time and you open the eagle, you're gonna give it to yourself so you can do something with it. So, you know, that's the luxury of having a guy like that. I mean, that's something that receivers love. Um, I remember a couple of days ago, we was, uh, you know, going against our first team defense, and he was pressured, and he hit one to uh, Pierre Garcon, and, and I was like, in awe about it, because I was like, man, you know, he got that out of there so quick. But, you know, um, we're really enjoying it right now, just seeing what this guy could bring to us, and uh, I'm looking forward for more. All right, let's just get to it. Can he put up Cam Newton type numbers? Can he do it? That's the thing that everybody, you know, wants to see, and I feel like because that's the expectation, you know. Yeah, Andy yeah, Dalton yeah. got him to the playoffs with the Bengals. Yeah. Cam Newton did his thing, and you know, with RG3, I mean, people are expecting no less. I say, I say to this day, man, like you know, all he can be is himself. You know, um, right now. You know, it's hard to say what he's going to do, you know what I mean? I, I think he has the ability, and I think, like I said before, as a team, we have to be able to go out there and compete with him and make sure that we give him the opportunity so he can put up those numbers. But I feel like he has the ability to do that. All right, all right. Well, thank you very much, man. I mean, really uh, we wish you guys luck this season, man. We think, um, you know, with the recent trend of rookie quarterbacks, you know, just coming out the scene and, and doing big things, you know, there's a good chance that you guys can be in the playoffs, man. So, uh, wishing you the best, man. And thanks a lot. Man. Appreciate you, man. Thanks.